So I'm going to South Korea tomorrow. Sweet Delilah. Yes, indeed. Tomorrow I fly out to the beautiful port city of Busan, South Korea to attend the Busan International Film Festival as part of my Korean cinema class. And I'm pretty psyched, you could say. Nervous as well, but not like a bad nervous. More of an excited kind of nervous, like a positive nervous energy that's keeping me going. I mean, I'm kind of a nervous person in general, so, you know, that's just how I am as a person, I guess. Anyway, preparation for the trip has been frantic. Um, and continues to be so. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make this a very short vlog with extremely minimal editing, if you haven't noticed already, because just in the interest of time, I'm, I'm running low, as they say, when they're talking about time and they're running low. So that's me right now, currently. And then uh, I will be gone for a little over a week, and I will be making my grand return stateside on October 9th. Back here to party it up. Um, my roommates were literally actually talking about having a party when I come back. Not for me, but just it had, that's how the timing worked out, so that's cool. Um, so that was serious. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but anyway, there's that. I just wanted to quickly go over some of my expectations for the trip, and then when I return next week, I'm sure I will have many a story to tell of what it's actually like over there and my foreign adventures. Hopefully good ones and not more I went to a pub and was gawked at for ordering a turkey wrap stories and if that was not sense if that didn't make sense to you then um, please see my Vancouver BC vlog from earlier in the summer thank you all the fans out there you know what I'm talking about so there you go anyway that was corny um so South Korea I had a friend who was there for two years actually and from his descriptions and what other people have told me and from the few Korean movies that I've seen so far I have the following expectations that I've sort of put together and amalgamated, as they say, about this country. Uh, one, they eat squid relatively frequently, it seems. Uh, apparently the legs are quite something, and sometimes I believe they eat it still alive so that the tentacles of the squid suction and cling to your mouth as it goes down your gullet. Um, not really a goal for me, personally, to do that, but you never know what'll happen. So, you know, live and let live as I always say, uh, sometimes. Noodles are also big there. Noodle, noodle time. Noodle time for me is what I'm going to say when I'm there. Noodle time. <clears throat> Too much of that. That's not funny. I'm a noodle fan, so we're in business. That's good to go. Um, I was told that they don't have much of a breakfast culture, which sounds terrifying. I mean, just, wow, poor them, you know? Apparently, most restaurants aren't open in the morning, so I don't know how people deal with that over there. I mean, not that breakfast is everything to me, but, well, it's, I mean, it's big. It's big for me. Now I'm getting a call because somebody's so shocked that they don't have breakfast culture, and I don't blame them, and it's my sister, and she should be surprised because, really, who doesn't have a breakfast culture? I mean, that's absurd. You don't eat breakfast, you don't eat in the morning? I mean, what are we talking about here? This is, I agree. Anyway, um... Moving on from that, this is live theater, as they say, so it happens, you know, and we'll deal with it. It's actually not live theater, it's filmed and then I put it on the internet and I could be editing all this out, but in the interest of time, I did not, so here's this. Kind of a fun, different vlog, I guess, is how we could look at it, positively. Anyway, so breakfast culture, I, I worry. I worry about that, I worry about myself dealing with that. I'm thinking I'll probably be, I'll probably, well, I can't talk. I'm thinking I'll probably be okay. Um, I mean, I sincerely hope that they have a thriving dessert culture. I was too afraid to ask after the breakfast revelation. So, yikes, that'll be, that'll be a rough blow if they don't. Anyway, all of these things were food facts that I just mentioned. Not anything about the rest of the country. But those are important to me, so don't judge me, please. Um, the country is apparently very modern, especially the cities. And Busan in particular is quite beautiful, I've heard, uh, because it is a port city, there's beaches, the water around there is really something, I've heard. But I did watch a Korean sort of horror action movie about a sea monster in a river there, so that scarred me for life. I don't think I can actually go in the water there, but you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, not the best movie to watch right before I went, but that happened to me. So, 
Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the city, seeing the country, which is apparently just amazing. So that'll be really cool. Um, I've also been told that the people are extremely nice, which sounds delightful. Just bless them, you know, bless them. So I'm excited to meet them, you know, see what things are like over there, what life's like. Uh, finally, kimchi is eaten with almost every meal, I've heard. And I guess that is pickled cabbage and some other veggies and peppers and things. I'll see how that treats me. Um, I'm actually optimistic. I, I'm not one to shy away from fermented vegetables. Uh, I don't really have them ever, but you know, I'm open to it, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so these are the expectations I have, but it's really not about expectations, is it? Traveling, I mean. It's about being open and living in the moment. That's how I think of it. And I suppose that's the lesson here. I mean, when you're traveling to a new place or just trying something new in general, be open and optimistic and willing to try something you may not normally try. Because that's what traveling is all about. That's what being alive is all about, really. When you get down to it, not to sound too dramatic, but I do. And I don't care. Because it's a dramatic thing and it's important. And that's how adventures happen by being open, so do that. And I will too, when I'm there, to the best of my abilities. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go eat breakfast food for the next four meals, because apparently I won't be getting any over the next week in Korea, so. Sweet Mrs. Butterworth's original maple syrup, that sounds dandy. I'm actually not, not hating the idea of eating breakfast for the next several meals, so there you go. Good things, good things for me. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I will be back in a little over a week for my next vlog. Um, for those who find the vlogs on Facebook when I post them, sorry that things have been a little mixed up there and jumbled. Um, the posts have been a little harder to see pop up because of Facebook and YouTube not getting along well or something. I don't know. But anyway, I apologize if you haven't been able to find my vlogs. I'll try to repost them when I get a chance, the last couple, so that everybody can see them. And as, I mean, I never really say this, but thanks for watching. It really means a lot to me. So, bless you, you know. I'll bless the Korean people as well when I get over there, if they're as wonderful as people say, which I'm sure they will be. But bless you personally, as a person, right there, on that other side of that screen. Not to be creepy. Okay, took it too far. Anyway, that's, that's it for me, for now. So, <sighs> off to Korea soon. Yikes! And... Cool. I'll catch you later. Just realized I went the wrong way. I've never done that before. That's weird. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So... <clears throat> Alright. Okay. That's enough. I'll catch you later.